It's no secret that the Minecraft community has been in a less than pleasant state lately. I've covered it plenty on this channel, but what I haven't covered as much is how can we move forward? How can we fix this mess of what was once a community? Well, I'll give you a spoiler, it's not easy, but it's possible. It's just that what is best for the community isn't necessarily what is most profitable for YouTubers. Realizing that, it's not that much of a surprise that the problems in the Minecraft community still persist to this day. So, everyone today feel free to sit back and relax as I take you through how we might be able to save the Minecraft community. So, for a pretty long time, people thought the problem with the Minecraft community were all of the critiques that were arising. All of these what people would call Minecraft is bad or Minecraft is boring videos. There were a lot of critique videos in this initial wave. Some of them were there just to follow the trend for views, and others were there genuinely out of places of care for the game. But recently, a strong wave of opposition has risen to Minecraft critiques. And a lot of people seemed to think, oh, this is the solution, right? If we get rid of all of these critiques, then the Minecraft community will be fine again. But I'm here to tell you that isn't the case. These Minecraft critiques were pretty mixed bag. Some of them were not so good. Meanwhile, some of them actually pointed out major flaws of the game and suggested ways that it could be better. They promoted this sharing of ideas like had never been seen before in the Minecraft community, really. So, in other words... Minecraft critiques were not the problem with the community. They were just a new genre of videos with their own good and bad things about them. So when this recent wave of opposition rose up against Minecraft critiques, it really wasn't helping the community any. This wave mostly started with people like a YouTuber named The Haze making videos against a YouTuber Jet Starfish. People like this often looked at Jet Starfish and said, see, this is proof that Minecraft critiques are bad. But, well, it should be common knowledge that you can't judge an entire group by one person within it. There were some good things that came out of this opposition wave, but it also generated many problems. See, after people started making all of these videos calling out Jet Starfish, it created a negative feedback loop. One person, Hayes, makes a video looking at the most extreme example of a group, and then looks at only the bad parts of that video and focuses only on the bad things. In many cases, also kind of exaggerating these negative things. And that relates to what we'll get into later about views and money being key to why the problems in the Minecraft community are still as bad as they are. But anyway, with all of this focus on the negative and, hey look, these guys are bad people, they're trying to do these bad things, making a video like that that only focuses on the negative and things is going to result in other people doing that as well. And then when you combine that with people like Hayes and Gerd just being kind of rude and snarky in their videos, other people will then do that too. Why? Well, it's just kind of a subconscious mechanism of the mind. We see these big YouTubers, and they're talking about how terrible these other people are, and they're being rude and snarky to them. Then it sets this precedent in ours, the viewer's mind, that, hey, it's okay to be mean to these people that they're talking about. This YouTuber that I always watch just did it, so it must be fine. Again, it's subconscious, we're not actively thinking it, but it is almost certainly there. Because that's exactly what we saw. People got really toxic towards Jet Starfish after Hayes made that video about him. People also got really toxic towards Sipover after Gerg made that video about him. The proof isn't just right in front of us, it's all around us. When Gerg made his video about Sipover in the Minecraft beta community, he ended up, I think unintentionally, starting a pretty large hate wave towards the Minecraft beta community. This was because, one, the precedent of rudeness that he set in his video, and two, also in his video, he kept on mentioning other Minecraft beta videos as nostalgia bait. Somewhere in the back of our minds, that alluded to the Minecraft beta community being these nostalgia baiters like Gerg was hinting to, when Gerg would literally just call any Minecraft beta video he could find on YouTube nostalgia bait. And so... The precedent was set that this Minecraft beta community, it's all these people trying to take advantage of you. 
by nostalgia baiting you into clicking on their videos, and that because of that it's okay to be toxic to them because this big YouTuber with over 500,000 subscribers just did it. And so, unsurprisingly, a hate wave started. So how do we fix this? How do we stop this kind of stuff from happening in the future? Well, first we need to address really who's to blame here. Because a lot of people were saying it's not Gerg's fault that he started that hate wave. He didn't mean to. It's the fault of the people who watched his video and are now being toxic. But on the other hand, if they never saw that video, they wouldn't have been toxic like that. So yes, the people watching the videos and then going and being toxic online are to blame, but also so are the people making the videos like Gerg. Even if he didn't mean to start a hate wave, he still did. And it easily could have been avoided. Because as a YouTuber, you have a responsibility to watch what you say. You need to be mindful of other people's feelings and emotions, and you also need to know the environment that you are speaking in. Gerg was talking about a really sensitive subject of Minecraft beta and is it okay to think it was a better version of Minecraft. It was already before Gerg's video basically a big pile of wood and gasoline, so Gerg had to make sure he was careful not to drop the match on it, and what did he do? He dropped the lit match on it. In other words, he needed to make sure it wasn't coming off like he was meaning to be hateful to the Minecraft beta community. He needed to be clear that this is just Sipover I'm talking about, not everyone in the beta community is a nostalgia baiter. But he did the exact opposite of that. He called all of the Minecraft beta videos he could find nostalgia bait, and was also extremely rude and insensitive. And yes, that is a form of humor, but fun and comedy don't need to come at the expense of others. Mean humor like that only really works when all parties involved are actually in on it. But they weren't, and Gerg was basically just starting beef with everyone he could find. All for the sake of, what, a little laugh? The video did what it did. It started a hate wave, and if it were me making that video and I stopped for even just like 10 seconds to actually look at the video and think about what I said, I would be able to tell this is going to start a hate wave. But Gerg wasn't careful. He didn't seem to know the state of the entire old Minecraft versus modern Minecraft debate, and seemingly did not bother to educate himself. And he was completely insensitive and inconsiderate of the plights that Minecraft beta players might be undergoing. And so... The hate wave was born. We saw so much negativity after that that was just completely unnecessary, and it is still rippling through the Minecraft community to this day. But this doesn't need to happen again. We can prevent this. We can do so by creating a more positive feedback loop. Instead of making these videos that are just trashing on someone else for having a different opinion about a video game, and looking only at the bad things in the video, we need to make balanced feedback and criticism saying, here's why I think you did well, but here's what I have a problem with, and explain why and do it in a respectful manner. Because this is a video game we're talking about, and we are all here because we like that same video game. Don't exaggerate all of these bad things for views saying stuff like Jet Starfish single-handedly ruined Minecraft modding. Maybe say something along the lines of Jet Starfish is yet another person to paywall Minecraft mod and make a video about it. Here's why I think it's wrong to do this. And paraphrase it, of course. But here's why I have faith that I think this would work. Because one negative reaction, especially in a YouTube video that gets really popular, is sure to just set off another negative reaction and then another and another. They're chains that keep on linking together, one always setting off another. So what if we can flip that around? And instead of making a chain reaction of anger and hate and negativity, we make a chain reaction of genuine criticism and respectful idea sharing. And all it takes is one person to start it. One person in a video that gets really popular can set off a large positive chain reaction. Because with each and every positive reaction, it will only get easier and easier for another one to happen. So yeah. I think we can do this. The only problem is that exaggerating all of these negative things is really good for views on YouTube. Saying this is digital garbage or this is so bad is bound to do better in the YouTube algorithm than saying this has some problems. But maybe, 
I hold out hope that just one day we will be able to turn this around. And maybe I'm crazy for that. But really, thank you for hearing what I had to say, because that's all I've got for this video. Have a nice day, everyone. Don't be a jerk. And I hope to see you in the next video. But for now, goodbye.